Well, talk of a public safety tax is something buzzing amongst first responders in Sullivan County. Jen Thompson learned that many first responders believe that the public isn't aware of how short staff public safety is and of the conditions first responders are working in. When it comes to public safety here in Sullivan County, many first responders are concerned about a lack of funding, which is leading to a lack of pay and personnel shortages. Sullivan City Police Chief Michael Garrett says the department is currently operating at about 50% staffed. Salaries is a, is a big part of that, you know, being competitive with surrounding counties, with the, with the Sheriff's Department as well, state police, they're all paying quite a bit more. So trying to retain people or get people to apply uh, we have to have competitive wages. Chief Garrett says they aren't alone. The fire departments, the police departments, SCAT, uh, they're all running in the same boat where they don't have the, the revenue stream to pay competitive wages for the, you know, compared to the surrounding counties. Josh Carey is the chief deputy at the Sullivan County Sheriff's Department. He says several first responders in the community have come together to bring awareness to other local leaders about the need for funding and the benefits a public safety local income tax could have on addressing public safety concerns. We've been fortunate that our county leaders have been willing to listen um, and we've had open dialogue with them. Um, so I'm hoping that that continues and we can kind of work towards a resolution. Sullivan Mayor J.D. Wilson understands the need. We're one of few in the whole state of Indiana that does not have a public safety tax. If something doesn't change, we're going to have to change our services. We don't want that. Knox County created a public safety lit tax about a year ago, and Vincent's mayor, Joe Yoakum, says they did it out of necessity. We had no choice but to put in a public safety tax. The extra money is not there, and the state has pretty much put every community in this uh, position with tax caps. The public safety lit helped us bring those salaries up, and, and we're going to see a big reduction in loss of officers. We owe it to our constituents, our people that we represent to provide those services. When you pick up a phone, you want somebody to respond if you're having an emergency. So what can a concerned citizen do? Well, I think they just need to follow up, like I said, first of all, with, with public safety, people that they know, fire, police, ambulance services, talk to them. The other thing would be to follow up with their county council, show up to meetings, let them know that this is a need. They want to have police, fire, EMS response when they need them. And they don't want to have to have those extended wait times. We want to bring awareness uh, to the public, to the taxpayers. We want people, we want people people to support their first responders and we're pretty confident that the people in Sullivan County are going to support their first responders. Well, first responders here in Sullivan County are the ones bringing awareness to the need for public safety funds. Ultimately, something like a public safety tax will fall on the responsibility of the Sullivan County Council. We hope to check in with them soon. Reporting here in Sullivan County, I'm Jen Thompson.